So after that game against the Miami Dolphins, uh, so many things became official. Uh, one, the Baltimore Ravens have the number one overall seed uh, in the AFC. That cannot be taken away from them whatsoever. No outcomes of any other games can change anything uh, with the Ravens being a number one seed. It's done. It's theirs. And they done a lot this year to get to this spot. There have been a lot of times when the Baltimore Ravens, uh, other stuff would fall in their favor. Other games and teams would, uh, they would either lose in their favor or win in their favor. And they'd be like, all right, all Baltimore Ravens got to do to control their own destiny is win this game, win that game, win that game. And they would do it. They would do it just about every time. We've seen in years past where the Baltimore Ravens did not do it. They would come up short. When everything would be handed to them, they'd be like, oh, you know what? No, we don't want it. But this year has been different. These Ravens are so much more mature than they have been in years past. In games like this, they showed it. Team, keep it clean. I'm here to share my post-game thoughts from the game that we all watched together and we all loved it. I know, except a lot of Miami Dolphins fans. But... Hit us in my post game thoughts on the game between the Baltimore Ravens and the Miami Dolphins, where Lamar Jackson, he really solidified. Like, it was already solidified, him being the MVP this year, but that game just, it ended it officially. Lamar Jackson will be your 2023 regular season MVP, and it shouldn't stop there, though. We want to see him win a Super Bowl MVP. We'll talk about that later. Now, before we get into this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, and I appreciate y'all. Y'all been subscribing like crazy. Y'all been helping the channel grow like crazy. So I appreciate it. But subscribe and turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything that we're trying to bring y'all this week. And then leave a like on the video too. Y'all have been killing it with the like button. So I appreciate it like crazy. Now, this game against the Miami Dolphins, it was looking a little scary at first. This was a game that I, I had said I thought this was going to be a stressful game. I did think the Baltimore Ravens were going to win, but I thought they were barely going to win. Boy, was I wrong. I was wrong. And both quarterbacks, both Tyler Huntley and Lamar Jackson, both had a perfect quarterback rating. But anyway, um, this game started off on the defense because we were already missing Kyle Hamilton. Uh, we were missing Brandon Stevens. And then Marlon Humphrey was in there for a little bit, but then even he went out. Arthur Millette, he went out for a little bit. Daryl Worley, he went out. Michael Pierce went out. So a lot of guys were getting banged up. A lot of guys were banged up already, but a lot of guys got banged up too. So we kept missing more and more people. But the way that this game started off, the Baltimore, uh, excuse me, the Miami Dolphins literally walked right down the field with ease against Baltimore Ravens defense. With ease. No problem. No issues. And scored a touchdown. So easy. It looked so easy. I said, oh, okay. All right. So that was the first test. How are they going to respond to that? Lamar Jackson, Baltimore Ravens, they responded right away with a touchdown. Because a little bit of the worry was like, okay, are they going to respond with a field goal? Are they going to respond with a punt? Or are they going to actually finish the job and get a touchdown and tie the game back up? They did it. They responded right away. So that was a good sign. But then, very next drive for the Miami Dolphins. Went right down the field again on the Baltimore Ravens. Right down the field again. And they got all the way to the goal line. And the only reason that they didn't get a touchdown was because Tyreek Hill dropped the ball. He dropped it. He dropped it in the end zone. Bobble it in the end zone. And they didn't get a touchdown from that. So, um, it was like, okay, well, that's where you could say the, the Dolphins, they beat themselves on that drive. Because they dropped the ball. Tyreek, I mean, excuse me, two or two, a perfect pass to Tyreek. He dropped it. It's like, all right. They get the field goal. Baltimore Ravens, they came back. And I don't even remember what happened. I don't remember if they got a touchdown or that. But regardless, Ravens, they started stopping the Dolphins. And what I appreciate about this Ravens team is even before halftime, because you know how we always hear about halftime adjustments, the Baltimore Ravens, they didn't wait until halftime to start fixing stuff. They didn't wait until halftime to start making adjustments. They did it before halftime because they really started slowing the Dolphins down a lot. Um, one thing I was worried about this game, which was a legitimate worry, was a screen game. We know Dolphins love running screen plays. They love throwing to the flats and then just getting a bunch of yak. Kyle Hamilton is a player that's all over them screens. He is the screen stopper, but we ain't had no Kyle Hamilton. So we were not stopping them screens early, but the Ravens, they got on top of that. The Ravens, they were able to not only get pressure, but get sacks on to attack of Aloha. And he's somebody that gets the ball out of his hands quick, fast, and in a hurry. They were able to stop that. Now, Ravens run defense, that part wasn't so pretty. And so I can get an exact uh, fit. I know a chain, they were without Mostert. They were without Jalen Waddle, but their offense was still dangerous. Um, and, and just so I can get an exact number on the rushing yards, I know a chain had over 100 yards. I know he had to for sure uh, because he was running all over the Ravens. They were tossing it to him. They handed it off to him. He was running all over the Baltimore Ravens. Um, but let's see. He, oh, yeah, he had 14 carries for 107 yards, averaged 7.6 yards per carry. So you would think, oh, man, this dude averaged 7.6 yards a carry on the Ravens? Oh, man. 
But look at the score. Ravens blew them out. Even with him going off, getting all those, Ravens blew them out. Tyreek Hill, he had six catches for 76 yards. For Tyreek Hill to be held to that, that's a win. That's a win. Because Tyreek Hill got a lot of that early on, too. A lot of his numbers came early on, but then for a lot of the second half, he was quiet. We didn't hear nothing from Tyreek Hill for a lot of the second half. So, right, again, the adjustments were made. They took care of business. Tua, Tua was 22 for 38, so he only missed 16 passes. Not bad. 237 yards, not bad again. Two touchdowns, not bad, obviously. Uh, but two picks and got sacked three times. Now, one of the picks came where Roquan, right before halftime, right before the two-minute warning, Two and the Dolphins, they were like, hey, no, we're going to get this playoff before two minute warning. We're trying to have as much time as possible. Okay, you want to rush it? No problem. Tua snapped the ball, threw the pass. I believe it was a pass intended for Tyreek Hill. Roquan Smith read it perfectly, was all over it. One hand interception. Got it. Got it. And then, right after that, I was a little worried because it was fourth down. It was fourth down and seven. And I was like, ugh, well, this sucks. The Ravens are up. They up a good amount of points, but. Ah, it's fourth and seven. They're not in field goal range, but if you punt here, it would almost feel like that interception was a waste. But I get if they punt here because you don't want to give the Dolphins easy field position. But Ravens said, no, 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 no. We're going to go for it. And they went for it on the fourth and seven. And Lamar, he found Isaiah Likely, hit him in stride, touchdown. Didn't just get the first down, they got the touchdown too. Before that, um, Odell Beckham Jr. had a huge catch down the sideline. Like right at the two yard line I think that's where he caught it And it looked like a little iffy When it was live It looked like a catch But at the same time They were showing a replay Dolphins challenged it It looked like Oh could it be iffy But then they showed a replay Clean catch Perfect catch So okay Set up Gus Edwards for the touchdown Set him up for a beautiful touchdown Easy touchdown um, In this game uh, When the Ravens scored a touchdown Right before halftime We were all thinking Alright They score a touchdown before halftime If they get the ball back They get the ball back after halftime Hopefully they score again Hopefully they take care of business and get us another touchdown. What did they do? They got another touchdown. Got another touchdown. Shout out to Zay Flowers, man. I, I was happy to see Zay Flowers get um, that touchdown, that long touchdown. Lamar to connect with him on a deep ball. It, it was just a beautiful thing to see. Lamar was just on fire this game. On fire. On fire. The man had a literal perfect game. And let's just look at Lamar Jackson. Number. We know he threw five touchdowns. Uh, but Lamar Jackson, he went... 18 out of 21, 321 yards, averaged 15.3 yards per completion, and had five touchdowns. He did get sacked once, but that's okay. Shout out to the offensive line. Ravens offensive line this game, they were pretty good. Like Lamar, again, he did take that one sack, but other than that, even the pressure was minimal. I don't, he didn't have to run for his life a lot at all like he did. Like last week, he had to run for his life a lot with that, but this game, not too often. Not too often. Lamar was back there a lot of times just chilling. Chilling. I guess the offense were like, look, we're going to make him pass. And they paid for it. Big time. Big time. A lot of times the Dolphins were dropping a lot of people back. And Lamar carved them up. There would be some times where the Dolphins were blitzing. And Lamar carved them up. He carved them up big time, man. So, shout out to him. Now, Gus Edwards, uh, 16 carries for 68 yards. Of course, he got that touchdown. Um, Justice Hill Oh this was a big game for Justice Hill Huge game for Justice Hill He got the touchdown catch He got the big kick return He got some big plays throughout the game A screen pass that went for a big first He, he just kept putting in work From so many different parts of the field uh, From so many different Just parts of the game Justice Hill was like that today He was on one today And, and, and it made such a big difference Because when you look at his carries He only had three carries For 48 yards now, that's, that's big. <laughs> that's a big average. But he had three carries. His longest carry was 41 yards. So that's where obviously where he got the chunk of his yards at. But his impact was everywhere in this game. Lamar Jackson, he had six carries for six carries for 35 yards. So he wasn't doing too much. There was one, one play where he was showing a little something. But he said, you know what? No, let, let me save this for the playoffs. So Lamar Jackson, everything that he's been doing this year, when we see him, he's he been holding it back. He's been holding back when it comes to the scrambling. He has not been running full speed very often, hardly at all. Maybe he ran. I don't even think he was full speed last week in that 49ers game. It didn't seem like it to me. But, hey, I know there were some people that said he was. I don't think he was. But, anyway, Lamar Jackson has clearly been holding back this year. And now, well, not playoff time yet. Still got next week. But I don't think the starters are going to play next week. But come playoff time, let it all out. Let, 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 let it all out. Now, Tyler Huntley. 
Tyler Huntley, he came in, did a little handoff to Melvin Gordon. He's like, no, 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 I need more. I need more. And you know, when Tyler Huntley comes in the game, Ravens don't stop throwing the ball. They'll run and whatnot, but they really try to get first down. They try to get points. They try to keep it going. They don't force the issue now, but they still, they say, Tyler Huntley, no, go ahead and throw that ball if you want to. Do your thing. And he did it. Charlie Cola with his first touchdown reception. So that was nice to see, man. So shout out to them. Zay Flowers, uh, we talked about him. Uh, three catches for 106 yards. And, of course, that touchdown. Uh, Justice Hill, we talked about him. Five catches for 64 yards. And, of course, that touchdown. Bateman, um, he had four catches for 54 yards. It was nice that Lamar went back to him even after that. That pass where it was like a tiny bit too far, but not too far away. Oh, man, bad pass. No. That first deep ball that was rooting. I thought it was a completion. But they said the ball moved. The, uh, the ground moved the ball. Okay, whatever. And that hurt. Yeah, that, that hurt bad because I thought, like, oh, man, that's got to be deflating. But Ravens responded. And that had been the Baltimore Ravens this year. Uh, they've been responding because even in this game, there were some times where a lot of people brought up the, the Miami Dolphins game from last year where Ravens had a big lead and the Dolphins just came right back and won. And in this game, the Ravens had a big lead, but they scored more. And 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 they closed it out. They finished the job. They didn't leave it up to chance. They weren't like, oh, okay, well, we'll just leave it in the defense. No, the offense said, hey, defense, I know y'all banged up right now. I, I know y'all got a lot of injuries right now, but watch this. We got y'all. Um, Isaiah Likely. Isaiah Likely, who has been just amazing um, ever since Mark Andrews went down. He's great, man. Isaiah, this is the Isaiah Likely. This is the potential. That we were hoping to see last year And we saw little flashes of it here and there But this year he like leaps and bounds And obviously it's because of his opportunity Had Mark Andrews been here uh, Which we hope that he can come back Isaiah likely would not get this opportunity like that But that's understood because Mark Andrews is their guy Their, their main tight end um, But Isaiah likely getting this opportunity He's made the most of it and showed like hey he can play He can play some ball And I love how Isaiah likely continues to be no nonsense Like he doesn't try to do all the little pretty stuff. Oh, let me try to shake this guy. Let me try to make him miss. But, like, he did a lot of that last year. And there ain't necessarily no problem with that. But this year, Isaiah likely been like, no nonsense. No, let me just run and get this first down. Let me just go run and get this touchdown. So, and that's exactly what he did on that fourth down play. Um, back to the defense again. Uh, Geno Stone on his pick. Great play. And Roquan looked like he got a little piece of it. But Geno Stone, he got another pick. So, it was nice to see him back on the, uh, the stat sheet with an interception again. Um, but yeah, this team, man, this team is special, as we know. Uh, the Dolphins, they they were a good team, but they again their track record against good teams was not so good this year. Um, they had beat up on the bad teams, but against the good teams, they end up losing against the Eagles, against the Chiefs, uh, against the Bills, um, not against the Cowboys. And I, I know there are more too. Well, no, Dolphins only got four losses. So yeah, Bills, Chiefs, Eagles. I forgot who the other loss. Oh, the Titans. The Titans, that was the other loss. So, yeah. But they were still a, a tough team. And they presented their challenges to the Baltimore Ravens early on. But Baltimore Ravens, they took care of business. They adjusted. And they, they made this game look easy. They really did. Especially once they got going, they did not stop. And that's so important that you do not stop. Ravens, there were some times where it looked like they might get a little conservative. But they were like, no, no, no. We ain't doing that. We are going to close this out in a way that we haven't closed it out ever. Because they, they said that this was the most points that the Baltimore Ravens have ever scored at m t Bank Stadium. And this was the most points that the Baltimore Ravens team has ever scored in, in history ever since the Miami Dolphins game in 2019 in Lamar Jackson's other MVP season. So it seems as if when uh, Lamar Jackson, uh, it, when he's on against the Miami Dolphins, then he's going to win an MVP. Now, um, somebody mentioned it's crazy how Lamar Jackson... Uh, that he, they were like, oh, it's, it's crazy how in Lamar Jackson's first year with new offensive coordinators, he wins the MVP. Now, of course, the MVP is not officially official yet, but, you know, yeah, Lamar is most likely going to get it. Now, I was saying this during the stream, I don't think it'll be unanimous, but even if it's not, that's okay. That's okay. Um, that's perfectly fine. In my opinion But this was a great game Great win Ravens get the number one seed And again next week Will starters play? I don't think so But we'll see We'll see how Ravens treat uh, Next week against the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, How they feeling But they got a lot of guys Banged up A lot of guys That I think Are probably going to want to get some rest And guys who they, they're going to want to rest So we'll see how things go Team keep it clean 
I love y'all so much. Ravens, we love y'all so much. Thank you for taking care of business. I said that this game was personal for the Baltimore Ravens, but it was also personal for me too, especially being down here in Miami. I got friends, I got family that's a, a lot of Dolphins fans, a lot of them. Um, but it was nice that like like last year, I, and I was talking about this earlier, last year when um when the Ravens played the Dolphins, Ravens were blowing them out, Dolphins came back and won. Oh, I got so many texts and so many calls from people, and I, I had even got texts from phone numbers that I didn't even have saved on my phone. But this year, I ain't getting out a single one. 